This video highlights the 2023 MIPS Value Pathways MVPs registration process. MVPs are one way to meet your MIPS reporting requirements for the 2023 performance year. You must register in advance to report an MVP. Registration will consist of completing the MVP registration form with required information along with subgroup details, if applicable. We'll walk through how to complete and submit the MVP registration form in this video. MVP registration, including the subgroup participation option, opens Monday, April 3rd and closes Thursday, November 30th, 2023 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. However, if you're registering for an MVP that includes the CAPS for MIPS survey measure and you plan on administering the survey as one of your four required quality measures, you must complete your MVP registration and a separate CAPS for MIPS registration by Friday, June 30th, 2023 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. MVP or subgroup registrations may be changed or updated through November 30th, 2023 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The MVP registration form can be found on the QPP resource library. You can use the keyword registration to easily find it. Click the link to open the zip file that includes the form and related fact sheet. It's recommended you review the fact sheet prior to completing your MVP registration form. The MVP registration form lists the information that's required to complete a registration. If you're submitting registrations for multiple MVP participants, you'll need to complete one registration form for each participant. Section one consists of contact information. This is the contact information for the person completing the registration. If you're registering on behalf of an individual clinician, you'll include your contact information, not the clinicians. You'll need to provide your first name, last name, phone number, email address, and HICUS access roles and profile or HARP ID. As you can see, I've already provided my contact information. MVP and subgroup registration is limited to users with the QPP security official role for the practice or APM entity. Security officials for the practice can complete individual, group, and subgroup registrations. Please note that third-party intermediaries such as a QCDR or a qualified registry are not able to complete an MVP registration on behalf of their clients. Section two consists of MVP registration details. Here you'll need to select an MVP for reporting along with the population health measure the participant wishes to be evaluated on. When registering for an MVP that includes an outcomes-based administrative claims measure, such as advancing care for heart disease, you'll be prompted to select whether the participant would like to be evaluated on outcomes-based administrative claims measures as one of their four required quality measures. Section three consists of MVP participant information. This is where you'll select your MVP participant type and provide the required supporting information based on your selection. For example, if your practice wants to register to report an MVP as a group, you'd select group and then type in your taxpayer identification number or TIN. You'll enter the full TIN unless it's a social security number, in which case you'd only include the last four digits. Please note that leading zeros won't display on the form. If some, but not all of the clinicians in the practice want to report an MVP together, you'd select subgroup as your MVP participant type. In addition to the practices 10, you'll be asked to provide information specific to the subgroup. The name, which will be used for public reporting, the specialty composition, indicating whether the clinicians in the subgroup are from a single specialty or multiple specialties, and then any additional information you'd like to provide about the composition of your subgroup. The composition information is for informational purposes only, and you can refer to the MVP registration fact sheet in the zip file for more information and an example. Finally, you'll enter the National Provider Identifier, or NPI, for each of the clinicians in the subgroup. You can make changes to the clinicians included in, in the subgroup until the MVP registration period closes on November 30th, 2023 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Save your completed MVP registration form. Compose an email to qpp at cms.hhs.gov with the subject MVP registration and attach the completed registration form.
After emailing your completed registration form, you'll receive an automated email from the QPP Service Center with a case number, which will be used to track your MVP registration. A QPP representative will follow up with you via email to confirm whether we've received all required information for the MVP registration and whether the individual, group, subgroup, or APM entity is eligible for MIPS. The case will remain open through the MVP registration period as a way to track any changes or updates to your MVP and if applicable, subgroup registration. You can make any changes to your registration through November 30th by contacting the Service Center. Finally, we'll send an email confirming the MVP's participant's registration remains valid after we update MIPS eligibility on the QPP website in December 2023. For more information, please review these resources available on the QPP website and QPP resource library. You can find the MVP's implementation guide by going to the QPP resource library and typing implementation as your keyword. To access the prepare for MVP registration section, on the QPP website, select MIPS Value Pathways under the MIPS menu and click Implementing MVPs.